Beneath the icy expanse of Antarctica lies a tapestry of secrets, veiled in mystery and controversy. This frozen continent, often perceived as a desolate wasteland, has sparked a narrative that challenges our understanding of history. At the center of this narrative is Graham Hancock, a man whose tears have shed light on the startling revelation. Antarctica is not what we're being told. But what exactly lies beneath those layers of ice and decades of assumptions? Join us as we unravel 10 astonishing facts that could rewrite the story of our planet. Facts that brought Hancock himself to tears. Number 1. Hancock's Observation of Antarctica's Mysterious Geography In a compelling account by Graham Hancock, a revelation about Antarctica's geography has emerged, shedding new light on this enigmatic continent. Hancock's friend, during an exploration, observed that the mountains in Antarctica possessed an unusual characteristic. They were eerily pointy and distinctly four-sided, a feature not commonly associated with natural mountain formations. This observation alone starkly contrasts with the typical perceptions of Antarctica's landscape, known more for its vast icy expanses than for any peculiar mountainous structures. Hancock, upon learning of these observations, was taken aback. The unexpected nature of these mountainous landscapes in Antarctica led him to ponder their origins and significance. It's not just the peculiarity of their shape, but also their arrangement and distribution across the continent that caught his attention. Such geometric precision in natural formations is rare and often points to some level of human or unknown geological intervention. The implications of these geographical features are profound and far-reaching. They open the door to a realm of speculation and theory, particularly about the possibility that these features could be remnants of ancient civilizations or the result of significant geological phenomena. The pointed and four-sided nature of these mountains could suggest a level of manipulation or alteration by advanced technologies or methods unknown to modern science. This theory aligns with Hancock's long-standing interest in ancient advanced civilizations and their potential impact on the world as we know it. Furthermore, these observations also pose questions about the geological history of Antarctica. They may indicate a period of significant geological upheaval or perhaps a time when the continent was not as isolated as it is today. Could these mountains have been shaped during a time when Antarctica was part of a larger landmass, possibly connected to other continents? Or do they signify something even more astonishing? Evidence of human engineering from a time predating current historical understanding? These startling revelations about Antarctica's mysterious geography not only challenge conventional scientific thinking, but also ignite curiosity and wonder about our planet's past. They compel us to reconsider our understanding of Earth's history, urging us to look beyond the accepted narratives and to explore the possibilities of a forgotten chapter in human civilization. Number 2. The Earth Crust Displacement Theory Delving into the mysteries surrounding Antarctica, one intriguing theory that Graham Hancock explores is Charles Hapgood's Earth Crust Displacement Theory. This theory, which initially appears as a fragment of science fiction, suggests a phenomenon where the Earth's outer crust undergoes a significant shift. It proposes that the lithosphere, Earth's solid outer shell, can move over the asthenosphere, the semi-fluid layer beneath it. This displacement isn't just a mere shift of a few inches, but rather a dramatic movement that could reposition continents and dramatically alter the planet's geography. Hapgood's theory, while not widely accepted in mainstream geology, provides a startling perspective on how we view the Earth's geological history. It suggests that the location of the poles can change over time, causing areas like Antarctica to shift from temperate to frigid climates rapidly. This hypothesis potentially explains some of the perplexing features observed in Antarctica's landscape, such as the sharply pointed four-sided mountains that Hancock's friend described. These unique geological formations could be remnants of a time when Antarctica's climate and position on Earth were vastly different from today. Connecting this theory to Hancock's observations in Antarctica leads to a staggering possibility. If the Earth's crust did indeed shift in the manner described by Hapgood, then what we currently know as Antarctica might have once been located in a much warmer climate. This could imply that its now frozen landscape may have been home to thriving ecosystems or even civilizations lost to history. Such a dramatic shift would not only redefine our understanding of Antarctica's past, but also challenge the established timeline of human civilization and the history of our planet. This perspective, while controversial, ignites the imagination and invites us to reconsider our planet's dynamic nature. 
It underlines the importance of considering alternative theories in our quest to understand Earth's history, especially when conventional explanations fall short in explaining the anomalies we observe. Hancock's interest in Hapgood's theory thus weaves a narrative that is not just about geography or geology, but about the very mysteries of human existence and the history of our planet. Number 3. Hancock's Fascination with Lost Civilizations Graham Hancock's journey into the mysteries of our past centers around a bold hypothesis. The existence of an advanced prehistoric civilization that left indelible marks on early societies around the world. This civilization, according to Hancock, was not merely a collection of primitive communities but an advanced society capable of remarkable architectural, astronomical, and technological feats. This idea, which seems to challenge the conventional timeline of human development, is not just a wild conjecture. It is rooted in tangible, intriguing evidence. Central to Hancock's argument are the megalithic structures scattered across the globe. From the colossal stone blocks of Baalbek in Lebanon to the precise astronomical alignments of Giza's Great Pyramid, these ancient marvels are far more than just impressive relics of our ancestors. Hancock proposes that they are remnants of a sophisticated civilization, lost to the annals of time. The precision and scale of these structures raise compelling questions. How were such feats achieved with the supposed limited technology of ancient times? Could these monuments be the fingerprints of a forgotten epoch in human history? Hancock's theory extends beyond mere architectural prowess. He points to the astronomical knowledge embedded in these structures. Many megalithic sites align with celestial bodies and events with startling accuracy, suggesting a deep understanding of the cosmos. This sophistication, Hancock argues, is indicative of a civilization far more advanced than previously acknowledged. The implications of such a civilization are profound. It suggests that our history might be far older and more complex than traditional narratives allow. Hancock's theory does not merely add a chapter to our history. It rewrites the story of human civilization, opening the possibility that our ancestors were far more advanced than we have given them credit for. Such a revelation, if proven true, would not only be a monumental discovery in the field of archaeology, but would also offer a new perspective on the capabilities and potential of human civilization. Number 4. The Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis Graham Hancock's exploration of the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis presents a turning point in our understanding of ancient history. This hypothesis posits that around 12,000, 13,000 years ago, a cataclysmic event, likely a comet impact, triggered a dramatic shift in the Earth's climate. This period, known as the Younger Dryas, is characterized by a sudden return to glacial conditions after a phase of warming. The hypothesis gained traction as it proposed a plausible explanation for the rapid and unexplained climatic changes observed in geological records. Hancock's focus on this hypothesis is not just an academic pursuit but a journey into the realms of human resilience and adaptability. The implications of this theory are profound. If a comet impact did indeed occur, it would have had catastrophic effects on the planet's climate, ecosystems, and early human civilizations. Such an event could have led to massive megafaunal extinctions and forced human populations to adapt radically or face extinction. The debate among scientists regarding this hypothesis is intense. While a significant number of researchers support the theory, citing evidence like nanodiamonds and impact spheroids found at various sites across the globe, some critics remain skeptical. They argue that other factors, such as volcanic eruptions or natural climatic shifts, could have caused the Younger Dryas. However, the discovery of a distinct layer of sediment across several continents, consistent with an extraterrestrial impact, adds weight to Hancock's focus on the hypothesis. This exploration into our planet's tumultuous past does more than just challenge the conventional timeline of human history. It underscores the fragility and resilience of life on Earth. Hancock's work invites us to consider the possibility that our ancestors faced and overcame challenges far beyond what we have previously imagined. The Younger Dryas hypothesis, therefore, stands not just as a scientific theory, but as a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity in the face of cosmic adversity. Number 5. Analysis of Ancient Maps and Antarctica Delving deeper into Graham Hancock's work reveals a captivating intersection where ancient cartography and modern mysteries converge. Hancock's analysis of the Piri Race and Orontaeus Phineas maps is particularly striking. These maps, dating back to the early 16th century, depict Antarctica remarkably free of ice. 
What makes this representation astonishing is the fact that Antarctica was not officially discovered until 1820. These maps, therefore, present a baffling anachronism that challenges conventional historical timelines. The Piri race map created in 1513 is especially intriguing. Compiled by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis, this map synthesizes various sources, some possibly dating back to Alexander the Great's era. It shows the western coast of Africa, the eastern coast of South America, and the northern coast of Antarctica. The level of detail in depicting the Antarctic coast, which should have been under ice, suggests that the source maps were based on surveys conducted before the ice caps formed. Similarly, the Orontius Phineas map, drawn in 1531, presents Antarctica not as a frozen wasteland but as a landmass with detailed topography. This raises a significant question. How could cartographers in the 16th century chart a continent that would only be discovered 300 years later? And more importantly, how did they depict it without its ice cover? Hancock posits that these maps could have been derived from even older sources, indicating that ancient civilizations might have had the capability for sophisticated seafaring and cartographic skills far beyond what is traditionally accepted. This theory not only challenges the established understanding of historical geography, but also suggests a profound and advanced knowledge among ancient mariners, who may have charted these lands long before the advent of modern history. Hancock's exploration into these maps opens a tantalizing window into a past that might have been drastically different from our current understanding, hinting at a lost chapter of human history waiting to be discovered beneath the Antarctic ice. Number 6 the International Pact on Antarctica. The International Pact on Antarctica represents a remarkable instance of global cooperation, underscoring the continent's unique status in international affairs. Known formally as the Antarctic Treaty System, this pact, established in 1959, binds over 50 participating countries in a mutual agreement to preserve Antarctica exclusively for peaceful and scientific purposes. The treaty prohibits any military activity, mineral mining, and nuclear testing, making Antarctica the only continent without military conflict or territorial disputes. This international accord underscores a collective recognition of the continent's scientific importance and the need to preserve its pristine environment. One of the most critical aspects of the treaty is the prohibition of mineral extraction. Antarctica is believed to hold vast natural resources, including oil, coal, and precious minerals. However, the exploitation of these resources is strictly forbidden under the treaty. This prohibition is crucial, not only for environmental protection but also for maintaining peace. The pursuit of these resources could easily spark geopolitical tensions, potentially leading to conflict among nations with territorial claims or interests in the region. Breaking this pact could have far-reaching consequences. It would not only disrupt the delicate ecological balance of Antarctica, but also trigger a geopolitical crisis the continent's strategic location, and the potential for resource exploitation make it a high-stakes territory on the global chessboard. A violation of the treaty could lead to a domino effect, with nations rushing to stake claims and exploit resources, potentially leading to a scenario reminiscent of the historical colonial scrambles for territory. The Antarctic Treaty stands as a testament to the possibility of peaceful international cooperation, its preservation is critical, not just for the sake of Antarctic conservation, but also as a symbol of global unity and the commitment to peaceful coexistence. In a world where territorial disputes and resource wars are not uncommon, Antarctica shines as a beacon of hope, a place where nations have agreed to set aside their differences for the greater good. Number 7. Hancock's Expedition to Antarctica Graham Hancock's expedition to Antarctica, driven by a profound desire to uncover the mysteries lying beneath its icy expanse, marks a significant chapter in his quest for understanding ancient civilizations. Hancock, known for his relentless pursuit of the past's enigmas, embarked on this arduous journey not just as a mere exploration but as a mission to challenge the established historical narrative. The terrain of Antarctica, hostile and unforgiving, posed numerous challenges, the extreme cold, unpredictable weather and the sheer isolation of the continent make it one of the most difficult places on Earth to conduct research. Despite these obstacles, Hancock and his team pressed on, fueled by the potential of groundbreaking discoveries. Central to this expedition was the use of ground-penetrating radar GPR, a sophisticated technology capable of peering beneath the ice to reveal what lies hidden. GPR works by sending high-frequency radio waves into the ground. 
When these waves encounter the interface between different underground structures, they are reflected back to the surface, where they are captured by a receiver. By analyzing these reflections, Hancock's team hoped to map out sub-ice formations, giving them unprecedented insights into what lay beneath the vast frozen landscape. Their efforts were not in vain. The GPR revealed anomalies beneath the ice patterns and structures inconsistent with the known geological formations of Antarctica. These findings suggested the possibility of man-made or unnatural formations, a tantalizing hint at a past civilization or unknown geological phenomena. This revelation has the potential to redefine our understanding of human history, suggesting that our ancestors might have reached and even inhabited regions like Antarctica long considered uninhabitable and unexplored by ancient civilizations. The implications are profound, offering a window into a past that could be far more complex and interconnected than previously thought, forever altering our perception of human capabilities and the history of our planet. Number 8. Implications of Hancock's Discoveries Graham Hancock's Antarctic Discoveries Challenge established historical timelines, suggesting an advanced civilization existed far earlier than currently accepted. This idea revolutionizes our understanding of human history, hinting at a past where early societies had far more sophisticated maritime capabilities than previously thought. The concept that ancient humans could navigate and map complex regions like Antarctica implies a level of knowledge and technology that is startlingly advanced for the era. These findings not only question the timeline of human development but also the extent of global connectivity in ancient times. The accuracy of ancient maps showing an ice-free Antarctica, which Hancock investigates, indicates a geographical understanding previously deemed impossible for ancient civilizations. This suggests that there could be a vast, unexplored chapter of human history, potentially filled with technological marvels and advanced societal structures. Hancock's work in Antarctica opens up new perspectives on human ingenuity and adaptation. The possibility of a long-forgotten advanced civilization challenges the linear narrative of human progress and underscores the depths of our historical and archaeological ignorance. This revelation invites a re-examination of human history, expanding our view of the ancestral legacy and the untapped mysteries of our past. Number 9. Antarctica's Climate History and Fossils The recent fossil discoveries in Antarctica present a startling contrast to its current frozen state, indicating a time when it was lush and teeming with life. This evidence profoundly challenges our understanding of the continent's climatic history. Fossils, including those of plants and dinosaurs, suggest a dramatically different climate, possibly temperate or subtropical, a stark contrast to today's icy expanse. These findings are not just remnants of a distant past, they're critical in understanding Earth's climatic evolution. They hint at a prehistoric warm period, suggesting that Antarctica was once as vibrant and life-supporting as some of the most fertile regions on Earth. This knowledge implies significant shifts in global climate conditions over geological timescales, extending far beyond recorded human history. Graham Hancock's focus on Antarctica's ancient climate offers a new perspective on the history of ancient civilizations. The idea that Antarctica was once warm and hospitable challenges conventional timelines of human history, suggesting a planet far more dynamic and unpredictable. This revelation, hinting at secrets locked beneath the ice, could redefine our understanding of Earth's past, opening up possibilities that extend beyond conventional scientific thought. Number 10. Hancock's Emotional Moment and the Importance of These Discoveries Graham Hancock's emotional response to his Antarctic discoveries reveals the profound impact of challenging established historical narratives. His tears symbolize the intersection of rigorous research and deep human curiosity. Hancock, known for exploring ancient mysteries, connects these Antarctic findings with significant historical events, adding a compelling dimension to our understanding of human history. Particularly striking is Hancock's association of his findings with Gobekli Tipe, an ancient site in Turkey. This site, predating Stonehenge by millennia, showcases advanced architecture and astronomical knowledge, hinting at a sophisticated yet unrecognized civilization. Hancock's theories propose that this site might be a remnant of a forgotten era, potentially linked to the secrets hidden beneath Antarctica's ice. Moreover, Hancock daringly aligns his discoveries with the Atlantis myth, a narrative often sidelined by mainstream archaeology. He posits that an advanced prehistoric civilization, much like Atlantis, could have existed and influenced subsequent cultures. 
This perspective challenges traditional views and fuels a reimagining of our past. Hancock's emotional moment is not just a personal reaction, but a gateway to rethinking our historical understanding, suggesting that our past might be far more intricate and fascinating than widely accepted. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.